my wife was uh, my wife was driving me home because I couldn't drive. <laughs> And I remember, uh, I remember the most important part of that phone, phone call for me was that I, I was planning my revenge on Max. And, uh, and I guess now is that time. Uh, Max did one of these at my wedding, and uh, you know, I, until about until about ten minutes ago, I had I had my revenge speech planned. Uh, but as I'm sitting there uh, on the west side watching the sun go down, I just had a thought go through my head that you know what's really important here is that something that was said today in the, in the service, which is just the truth that. Love never failed, Max. The best revenge, I think, is forgiveness. Is this something that the two of you guys are going to need? I, 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 this, this is five years married for me this year. And, you know, I'm watching the sun go down and I'm thinking about love never faileth. And the most important part of that is that that statement isn't just the truth. It requires faith. And the faith that you guys need to have in each other, that every day that the sun is going to come down, go down, it's going to come back up. And the, for you guys, what that's going to be is it's going to mean the love that you share. You're going to need that every day. When you wake up together, even when you're apart, my wife isn't here, but I wake up every day knowing that that love is there, that that connection is real. And that love never fails. You guys, I wish you all the happiness in the world. Through your faith, Max, I know you have strong faith. Can I... Max, Max, the faith that Max has and the love that he has for the people in his life, I just know, having just met you this weekend, though, I just know that you have that special place in his heart as well. Um, I wish all the luck in the world. I love you, Max. I love you too now. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. This is a wonderful Brother, I think that everybody will agree when I say that Max, as a person, is exciting. <laughs> I think that most most nights when you're with Max, you don't really know how the night is going to turn. A couple good stories I have with Max. When, he, when I was really young, he drove me and a, and a couple friends up to our practice in Iowa City. And we decided that, well, the drive from Davenport to Iowa City just was not fun enough. And so we decided we were going to make signs. Signs! Now these signs were, honk if you think I'm hot, um, and just just all sorts of great things. Then it was a blast. Um, you know, Max just—it's hard to describe, you know, just how wonderful of a person he is, and um, just how fun he makes life. So can I? Good luck. <laughs> he loves more than he has time, and. Uh, no, we just can't be happier for you. Thank you. I'm Ann. I'm an aunt, and I'm Robin's sister. And I just have to say that Max is very, very impressive. Max is very intelligent, very um, thoughtful, and I've known Max from the day that he entered into our family and um, I can remember that day very very well I was supposed to go with his mother to get to go to Russia to get Max and I couldn't go because I was pregnant and they would not let me go into the country but I was going to go and I was going to be the support and I wanted to be there when Max came into our family that was, that was just such a big day. And then our church had a, a shower for him when Max came in. And Tim and I bought him a baseball glove and a bat. And I think that was probably the first one that you ever had. And I think it was probably about four or five. Yeah. yeah. And that was just such a turning point. And I just, I just can't express how that moment and how that, um, that time in our life just changed our whole family. And from then on, Max has been, Max and my son Blake have been, you know, they're, they're good friends. And they've had some really great times together. Um, really good laughs. And, um, but Max is very, very impressive. He's very, very intelligent. 
and he's a doctor today, and we applaud you for that. Your bride is beautiful, um, and I just I just can't express how happy we are for you guys. God bless you. Thank you. A lot of things. Um, a lot of things about Max over the years. I remember when he came to us when he was five years old. Um, God bless you. But I guess to get to the point, I just want to say that I'm so proud of you, Max, of what you become and who you are. And just meeting you today and the few times that I've actually talked to you, I'm very impressed with you. I think you're beautiful. He's handsome. You guys work it. So, but I will just say this after almost 30 years of marriage, that it's not always easy. So, as the pastor said to you today, you know, it's not all about you. It's about you caring about the other person and thinking about them first. And if you guys both do that, you'll be fine. So, Max, you know, I just kind of got a lot of stories about him. We have a lot of fun. He likes to, he likes to call me Uncle Elton. He started, he started singing to me about Campbell and the wind and Uncle John because one time I wore these little sport glasses and ever, ever since then, ever since then I've been, I've been Uncle Elton. So, yeah, no, they're not. Anyway. But, but he did send me a Papa John's uh, a picture and a message of a Papa John's pizza cover that had square glasses on Papa John's face and he called me Uncle Elton. If you can imagine what that looks like. So I'll end it there, but God bless you guys. Appreciate it. So can I, when Max came into my life, I turned it upside down. Good, bad, crazy, outside of my box most of the time. I have an expectation that will happen to you a little bit too, the more, you, the more time you spend with him, but it's okay. And um, Max probably um, sent me places that I maybe wouldn't have gone and had me rethink things that I had already thought. So I will say to you, can I, he comes with a lot of background, a lot of history, um, a lot of family, a lot of experiences before you, and they have made him who he is. So I hope you will embrace those about him. Max, the same thing for Kanai. She's 21 years old. She has a lot of experiences, a lot of history. They have made her who she is. And I think you guys are a good match. Um, I can see when Kanai looks at you how much she loves you. And the thing that caught me last night at the rehearsal dinner is when I asked the question, what, what one thing does Max like the most about, or can I like the most about Max? I think that was the question. And, and under her breath, she said, there's just so many things. <laughs> That's what I heard her say. Um, so never take that for granted, Max. To have some, to love each other like this and to, it's, it's a gift. And so make sure that you nurture it, make sure that you are patient with it. Max is a debater. Do you know that? <laughs> 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 um, and he usually, you know, likes to win.